Welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Dominion. Um, today, we're going to go back to basics. I'm going to play the base game, but I'm going to do a really important move that someone who commented on my videos pointed out that I should do. And that is slow the animation down. Because when they watch my videos, they kind of scream at the TV um, like they're watching a sporting event. And, you know, because I make misplays or I'm not necessarily following the AI as well as I should. So I'm going to go ahead and slow the animation down. Uh, and we're going to try to play a little bit tighter game. So I'm just going to go with the base game. That's the set that I know, um, you know, that I know well. So I think I, I'm going to try to do that. Slow the animation down. And let's see if playing a slower game creates a better experience. Um, so, yeah, I do take feedback uh, really well. I, I love it. I love feedback. Um, so if you ever want to comment on my videos on something I can improve, a you know, strategy, uh, some of my Hero Realms uh, videos have given me some strategies on, on how to improve. And I really appreciate that. I'm doing these videos for you guys and me uh, because there was not enough people creating content about digital board games. And so I said, you know what? No one else is going to do it. I'll do it poorly, but at least someone's doing it. All right. So this looks like a really random set of Kingdom cards. And the animation was slower. I did like that. Um, so let's go ahead and see what all these are. So we got the chapel. I mean, chapel's classic. Trash up the four cards from your hand. We'll go through these quick. We all, we know what these do. We got a reaction card, the moat. Uh, when another player plays an attack card, you may first reveal this from your hand to be unaffected by it. Plus two cards that so replaces itself. Plus one. We got the village, classic village. Plus one card. Two actions. The gardens, which is like just make a big fat deck and get points. The poacher. Uh, one card, one action, one money, discard a card per empty supply. So this is kind of good, and as the game, uh, late game, you have to discard cards. And then Throne Room, you may play an action from your hand twice, which is awesome. The Bandit, uh, gain a gold. Each other player reveals the top two cards of their deck, trashes and reveals treasure other than copper, and then discards the rest. Um... And then council room four cards, one by each other player draws a card. Mark it. You know that one, 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 just one all the way down. And then artisan is gain a card to your hand, costing up to five, and then put a card from your hand into your deck. Um, yeah, and so we have a lot of up to five. So I mean that that kind of works out. I think another strategy I'm going to do this game, and it's kind of boring. I do apologize is I'm going to do big money. I don't know. Maybe not. I, I think we could with the bandit. I'm trying to think like one card, one action. I don't have a lot of actions. So it's like I don't want to buy the village too soon. Um, let's look at the logs. That's another thing we should really start doing. Um, just so we can have an understanding of, of, what they, of what they do. So I'm B for bacon. And he's H for hard. So they got the Poacher, uh, which is a good card um, early game. There's no downside to it. They didn't buy the Bandit. So I'm going to go ahead and buy another Silver. Okay, so they're playing the Council Room. The Council Room is four cards, one buy. Uh, that, that's probably a valid card to get. Hmm. I don't know if I should do artisan because I can gain a card to your hand, cost up to five, so I could grab a market anytime I want or any other card, and then I can put a card from my hand onto my deck. So I can just kind of like, you know, okay, put that copper card back on my deck. So it's like I get a card that I want. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I know I said big money, so I probably could have bought, um, you know, gold there, but. It's kind of a boring strategy. I mean, that would be kind of a, a cool uh, thing. All right, let's see what they got. Let's see what old Computy got. Um, so yeah, they bought a silver. I have four. It's like I don't want to. I feel like I'll be wasting one. I mean, plus one card, plus one action. I mean, Poacher's not a bad a bad vehicle here. Okay, so we got Artisan. 
I, and I don't want to like screw my next hand up by like throwing an estate there. Like that's the thing. I don't want to just like throw an estate in my next hand and just like crap that out. So, I mean, this is replacing itself, and I get to draw. Well, then I'll draw. Is it in your deck or on your deck? Put a card from your hand into your deck. Into your deck, not on your deck. So I guess I'm, I'm going to say that means that you shuffle. Let's see. I'm going to throw the estate there. Oh, yeah. It, oh, that's what it does. I should put it on my deck. Misplay. Matt's going to be so mad at me right now. That's the guy who <laughs> commented on my playing abilities of Dominion. Total misplay. Wasn't even thinking. I wish. Yeah. So now I. I so. Matt's screaming at his TV right now. I'm sorry, Matt. I do apologize. I messed that up. Um, let's think about what I could have done. I think I need to get more actions. So like playing a village, then artisan, then I could set up my hand. Um, I guess the only benefit of artisan is that since you shuffle the card into your deck, you have a more likely chance of drawing it, especially if you have a nice tight deck. Um, yeah, that was, wow, that was, I totally screwed that up. Totally screwed that up. That's all right. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you watch these in the morning and it kind of like fires you up, gets the blood pumping when you get angry. <laughs> all right. Uh, what do we got? It's like, do I do village? Because I want to do that sweet, sweet combo. If You know, poacher is nice because it gives me the gold. So it's not like it's, yeah, I'm going to do poacher. Just got to watch the piles, make sure I'm not going to have to discard cards. Mm, computer. Buying the same cards that I'm buying. Okay, here's Artisan again. I'm going to play it right. I'm going to do... Market. Put Market in my deck. Shuffle it in. Play the treasures. Grab a gold. I was thinking about doing Bandit, but then I'm afraid that I'll, like, I'll unlock the computer to be like, you know what, I'm going to be a jerk too. All right, here we go. We got we got some options here. So we'll basically just do a market, do a market, and then we'll do some poaching. And then we, how many actions do we have? Just one. Okay, so actions are gone. trying to think I mean gardens wouldn't be bad because I am kind of building a fat deck with all the markets and I also want to keep pace um, with the computer so I have four money hmm well five if I'm thinking you know what? I'm going to get a silver. I'm going to throw this back into my deck. Play a treasure. Oh, yeah. I forgot the markets. Yeah, the markets give me money. This is, this is fine. Not a misplay. Accidental okay play. All right. Uh, that's a lot of money, and that's what I like to see. I have a decision. Do I buy that Providence? This is always tricky with Dominion. When do you when do you kick in? I'm gonna do it. Let's see what Hardy does. Hardy Owl. Hardy Owl. Hardy Owl has I opened the floodgates. Hardy Owl's like, I gotta buy one new, you know, two now. Now I don't want to get too crazy. I'm gonna buy another market. Because I want to build a nice little fat deck. I think I might do some more gardens. I would like to have some more card draw, though. Oh, do I do it again? Okay. Um, could, ah, that's not the, which one? I know we have a card in here. Uh, council room is what I need. I need a council room. 
Because mm. I'm kind of afraid that my deck's going to get a little diluted. Okay, Hardy Owl. All right, I think I am playing a little bit better. I'm not. I'm not. I don't feel as like rushed. Like I'm because the animation is a little slower, a little bit more relaxed. So I think it's kind of relaxing me. Now, hmm. All right. I think I'm gonna throw some money in the deck. go and then I should be able to buy the Providence it's gonna be tight okay so I would have 35 so I if I can buy it I need to buy it right am I doing my math right yeah 35. 36. I'm not doing that. Wait, is it worse? Oh, because the garden. Yep. Okay. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Matt, thank you. Uh, played a little bit better that time. Um, I was playing the base set. Like I said, I do know the, those cards a little bit better. Um, I did a little bit of, like, a big money deck, but I also did a lot of, you know, actions. Um, you know, basically this marketplace I kind of like because it gives you one money plus it replaces itself so if you get a lot of those in your hand you're just getting a bunch of you know a bunch of pennies a bunch of coppers but um you know you're actually getting a chance to maybe draw something even better uh while also getting that car getting a you know a copper worth of card i think po poachers are kind of the same strategy so that's kind of why i was kind of you know kind of building off of those and then artisan was kind of neat because i was able to like get cards and throw them into my deck a little sooner so i get them a little quicker um, and yeah, doing the big money strategy, uh, is basically where you just try to buy a lot of cards that get you money, obviously, and then you just try to rush the ending and, and get those Providence cards. Uh, it's kind of a boring strategy. I, you know, when I play the other sets, I always like to try to like experiment and play around with the other cards and just see what happens. Um, but yeah, this is really good. I think I'm going to play, uh, all future games of this with the slower animations, like I said, I think it just kind of makes the game more calm, and I was able to kind of focus more on what I was doing and what the computer was doing. So, yeah, great feedback. I do appreciate it. Hope you continue to watch. Uh, please like and subscribe, and keep the comments coming because I love them. I don't care if they're critical. I can take it. I'm an engineer, and part of being an engineer is peer review. So, used to it. Thank you.